Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, and happy belated Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and had some wonderful food. My husband and I, um, we had a party of 16 over there, it was 15 or 16 people, uh, mostly adults, had a few children, and we cooked a 24 pound bird, which turned out perfect. It fell right off the bone. Everything turned out good. Everybody pitched in. My sister brought something. Uh, she brought sweet potatoes. My niece brought some veggies. And my daughter brought some stuff. It, everybody pitched in, so it was. It made it a lot better. It makes it a lot easier. So, um, But we made a um, great bird. It turned out perfect. So um, I was going to do a video of just showing how I set my table, but um, I thought that would be a little bit too short. So I'm also going to do my Black Friday Ulta Also went to, seeing it was so close, I also went to Target and got a few things. So I'm going to show you all of that and probably do an eye look. I got um, most of my face done except for my brows and eyes and lips. So I thought I'd do a eye look for you guys today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you my Thanksgiving dinner table first and then I'll get into everything that I got from Ulta and Target. Finally figured out how to do the roses, but I want to know if you want me to do these, or if you think I should do these uh, swan towels for the bathroom. You do that like that, and then these are kind of like the wings. And then you do another one facing the other way. You think so? As soon as somebody goes in there to wash their hands, they're gonna fuck them all up. No. <laughs> Not really. All they gotta do is do this. <coughs> How do you wanna do it? You sure? I don't have a problem with it. Are you sure? <laughs> Tell me what this list looks like to you. <laughs> Does it look like a does it look like a swan, honey? <laughs> Alright, so I won't do the swan towels for the bathroom. Okay guys, so this is my final table set for Thanksgiving. It's not perfect, but it'll do. None of the chairs match, but I bought matching covers so that at least matches and I ran out of this kind of napkin so I had to go with this kind of napkin and then I did some of the rose napkins put that basically on the kids table so we're all good to go I cannot wait until my family gets here we do not get together nearly as much as we should but I'm going to make a vow to try to do that a little bit more often. I don't know if he's any good. Let's see if he's good. Stand back Zach. Dude, you're not going to want to sit there dude. Yeah that, that's <laughs> the loudest part. It's gonna make yeah back nice. up. Back it up. Well done. <laughs> well done. You're good. <laughs> I try. I try. Ah! 
That needed to get to Zach, I'll let you try after, okay? Bye. Just a little bit longer, guys. I'm scared of doing this. So Don't you know. be scared. I didn't know there was Let's get everybody's nice. ears. Let's get everybody's ears a break. Awesome. But you did great. It's awesome. You got some rhythm, girl. Okay, so what do you guys think of my Thanksgiving table? All set up. You let me know if you like them. All right, let's get into what I got from Ulta. Okay, so to start, I actually wasn't even gonna buy this. I saw it behind the register. Uh, when I was checking out, so I was impulse buy, of course. So I got the Naked 3 palette, Urban Decay. Got some very beautiful colors, beautiful colors. So, so that's the number one thing that I got. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Vault. And that's so cute. I love this packaging, it's so pretty. And then it's got the little drawers. And then I got the Modern Renaissance palette. In one little drawer. And then the other little drawer is the Soft Glam palette. And I'll open both of those up. I'll we'll start with the Soft Glam. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, formula. I think the formula is excellent. So here's those colors. Such pretty colors. And then we'll go with the modern, I'll show you the modern renaissance palette. Here's those colors. So pretty. There is a lot of colors calling to me in here. So I'm probably going to do a cut crease for you guys today. So that's another thing that I got from Ulta. I didn't go too crazy. I definitely could have gone a lot more crazy, of course. But I got four things of dry shampoo, uh, makeup wipes, uh, Neutrogena makeup wipes were on sale, so I got those. Four packages of those. The Urban Decay Perversion Volumizing Mascara. I usually don't buy too many mascaras at once, but I, again, impulse buys. So I got the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Is that showing up, I hope? So that's what I got from Ulta. Like I said, I could have gone a lot more crazy. But at checkout, they gave you a 20% off all products coupon it looks like too so looks like I'll be going back of course I'll be going back I'm always going back <laughs> all right so I'm gonna put all that away and then show you what I got from Target um, not too much either from Target they just had a ton of masks on sale this is like a, a trio that's got th uh, three-piece hydrating lip eye and face mask gift set but i am gifting that to myself because <laughs> you guys know i use a lot of masks i love love sheet masks and then there was a six piece facial sheet mask another gift set gifting to myself and the brand what brand is this is it just 
Target spray? Could be Target. Target Beauty Masks. So, actually never tried those, so I'll give those a try. And then I got these adorable brushes. Another impulse buy. Look at those. It's got the glitter in there. Reminds me of Christmas, so I just had to get them. Reminds me of a snow globe. So, I got those. So, I already did my face, so I'm obviously not trying those out today. But So, I'm going to decide which palette I'm going to do an eye look for. Or eye look with for you guys. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I went ahead and did my brows. Carved them out. Primed my lids. Set it with powder. All that fun stuff. And I decided I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette. So I think I'm going to try the brush that comes with it. I um, can't remember if I like the one in the um, Renaissance palette or not. But I'm going to start off by going into... Wow, is it really just called Bright Orange? <laughs> uh, raw Sienna. I'm going to start with Raw Sienna right there. It's the first one that one. And I'm going to go into the crease with that. I'm going to try not to do such a neutral look today, but let me see how it turns out. Nope. Nope. Don't like it. I'm so stuck on my Sigma brushes that transition shade when it's like this kind of tone, like a darker tone, or like a skin tone, you want to bring it in here, right here, and it helps with your nose contouring, and it starts off the, the contouring of your nose. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my E35, and we're going to brighten this up a little bit, and we're going to go in with love letter we're going in with love letter it's a very pretty mauvey pinky wow there's a lot of kickback in the pan i mean I th i'm probably dipping in too hard i have the same problem these are i mean the formula on anastasia beverly hills is like professional makeup grade you can't really dip in hard you don't need to they're very pigmented and I always forget that. And I think that's the problem that most people had with the Renaissance palette. Is that it just wasn't being used correctly. So, I mean, I'm not trying to insult anybody. It's just not everybody's a professional makeup artist. I'm not a professional makeup artist by any means. So, I watched a video that explained that. And once that got explained to me and I used it differently it definitely went a lot better and I think I had the original I know they changed it up a little bit because there were so many complaints um, but I mean at least that's what I heard I'm not positive about that but this color is beautiful and I'm taking it kind of on the as a wing out here on the outer crease I mean I'm gonna darken that up with another color but start to bring it down because I'm eventually going to put it on the lower lash line too. But I think I'm going to go in with uh, this lighter one down here. Okay, so I'm going to smoke this out up higher on the uh, crease using this Venetian Red right here. It's a tiny, tiny bit of that. Don't need a ton. Just going to Blend this out up higher. Now, time to cut the crease. Using my cut crease hack. I'm telling you guys, I don't know if you've tried it from watching my video. 
if you saw that video, but I will link it right up here. Um, this hack is so wonderful. I'm going to use this Farah angled brush to finish this up. Okay, and then I'm going to take a dense brush, and on the outer portion of this, I'm going to go in with antique bronze. And then with another dense brush on the inner portion, I'm going to go in with primavera. So now we've got two very different colors. So in the center, I'm going to do a transition. I'm going to take the other side of this dense brush that I used the first time and I'm going to go in with... <laughs> oh, it's a struggle. Uh, Buon Fresco? Buon Fresco. It's kind of like a mauve purple, light mauve purple. And I'm going to put that right in the center transition. Okay, now I'm going to take a pencil brush, dense pencil brush, and I'm going to reinforce my transition color up here. Then I'm going to take my E25 and on the very outer corner, which I want to darken up, I'm going to go in with some cypress ember. Again, very pigmented. <laughs> very, very pigmented. These are, these are, these are. So I'm going to take another clean brush and just lightly buff that out a little bit. Okay, then on the lower lash line, I'm going to use my, it's still got a little bit of that um, cypress ember on it. Um, I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to add in a little bit of my transition shade to go on the lower lash line. Transition shade again was love letter. Okay, I think I'm happy with that, except I'm going to highlight. And I'm going to go into tempura. I actually could see that to highlight the inner corner. See? That one right there. And the brow bone. Too much on the brow bone. I'm all look hooded. All right, I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go off camera, and I'm gonna do my uh, eyeliner and my mascara, and I'll be back. So I went ahead and did my um, eyeliner. I used that stamp and drag liner. Um, and then for mascara, I went ahead and used the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And what else did I do? I only, the only other thing I did was put some eyeliner on and I put a white down on the bottom uh, waterline. So this is the final look with the stuff that I got today. Not all of it I got today, but from the palette that I got today. So let me know what you guys think. So, thank you for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Wait a minute, over here. And ring that bell for notifications of my future uploads, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Alright guys, bye!